Hi guys, welcome back to Estella Wilson Creation. Today we are planning May 9th through the 15th. We are using this kit. It is a print, print yourself, print at home, uh, printable. Um, it's florals. I don't know. Here's the washi that I got. I believe they all came from Michaels, but I could be wrong. Here's the kit that we're gonna be using really cute it has um, a lot of extra pieces so we'll see what we use um, what is this um, trying to go through what I need Gonna need those right away. These and this and this. Okay. So first we're gonna need some dates. I thought I had some dates in this book, so let me see what colors. Maybe even a blue to go. Let me see. Okay. Blue. Oh no. Light. That blue. Purple, red. Why? Green. Okay, I think I like that blue. So I want to talk a little bit more about this kit. This is a printable kit, like I said. It's one that you purchase. I purchased from an Etsy shop. And then you print yourself and you cut it yourself on your silhouette or Cricut or whatever cutting machine you have. It is a more affordable way to get kits because... If you look at Etsy shops or shop owners, they can range up to $20. Like, I am not about that life paying $20 for a one-week kit. It's just too expensive for me. So, I'm always looking for more affordable ways to make my planner pretty. And this is one of them. This kit had to be under $3. Sometimes they run from like $2 something to $3, but not more than that. So, $2 or $3 per week versus $20 per week is a big savings in my opinion it's just another option that when I can't afford you know to buy those expensive kits I can find some items that are really really cute I can't link this kit below because I get into my moods where I like batch do stuff so at this time I was really into buying printables and printing them on my silhouette I am nowhere near as good as I would like to be on the silhouette. A lot of times it makes me want to um, hit my head like I have a headache dealing with it. But I was able to do it on this trip. So I kind of like printed and cut a lot of kits a while ago. And I'm just now using them. So I can't link where I got this from. But I know... Uh, um, a shop that does sell some is Blink Blink Planner. They sell a lot of printables and I've have I have ordered from them a lot. So if you're just looking for something to get started, I would say give them a ch uh, you know a look and see if you see something there. But you do need like a printing machine or you can print it on just regular sticker paper and then cut it by hand. But that takes a lot of stuff and a lot of time. And I don't like doing it that way because then you have to figure out how you're going to store it. And I like storing mine in the sleeves. So anyway, I really like how this um, kit is turning out. I actually like it a lot more than I thought. I like florals, but not all the time. In May, I feel like florals is a good time. Like, because, you know, April showers bring May flowers. And so, this kit represents all of May. Like, everything that May means to me. Um, and I just really like how it turned out. And then, like, blue is not a normal color. 
that I normally gravitate towards. And in this kit, I was able to use a lot of blues and it looks really good. So I hope that you are enjoying this process and you're getting some benefit for doing, you know, benefit out of it. Like you're having some ideas and your creativity is just going to work. On here, I'm laying down the full boxes and in my mind, I knew I wanted to do every other. A checklist sticker, there you go. A checklist sticker, then a full box. A checklist sticker, then a full box. I did that for two rolls. Okay, now I'm moving along to the sidebar, and this sidebar, I really think it came out better than the last week did, just because I had more pieces to work with. I really like the half boxes that I used on the sidebar, um, the colors, I felt like it just came together perfectly, and I was actually aligning stuff straight this time. So here I am. I'm going to try to figure out what I'm doing with this other washi. I tried it down the side. I also tried it across the top. And I didn't like how it looked. The colors didn't match quite that well. So I nixed that idea. And then I laid this flower washi across the top of it. I was out of frame there. So you're just going to see it pop up. But I did what I always do on the top. Lay some washi and then that covers the top because I don't like white space up there. And then I'm able to put the date headers down. This kit had a weekend banner and it had florals across the top and I just loved it. So I put that on the weekend area. I ended up putting it across the top and I like it there. So now I'm working on the top spot. I'm using quarter boxes and um, all the different decals that came in the kit. And that's the thing about using different kits and different owners. They provide different things and you really get a different feel um, to your planner spread by using them. I really like those like half circles that I'm going to use. Those came in handy. I thought they were so cute. And that is something from this kit that's different that I really, really enjoyed using. I was able to put the deco inside the circles and there, there they go, the half circles on the right. I'm gonna come back to those and put those down. They turned out so handy and so useful.
So here I'm putting all the functionals down, like garbage pickup, payday, um, just things that I know ahead of time. I'm going to go ahead and lay those down. The washi that I used um, as the bottom washi and the skinny one at the top, I ended up using that same washi over the holes or the punches. I really like that washi, how it looked. I'm glad I used it because I have a skinnier one of that one and a 15 millimeter, so a 10 millimeter and a 15, and it really came in handy and went perfectly with the spread. So we are at the end of this video. I'm just going to show you how everything looked. I really hope you guys are having a great day that you continue to stay blessed. Thanks for hanging out with me, spending time with me. Hope that I provided some inspiration for you guys as this is a place of peace and inspiration for me. And I will see you next time. Bye.